to renew your broker corporation, LLC, or partnership license, which is the license for your incorporated company, you must go to www.pals.pa.gov. Once you are there, the screen will look like this. You want to click on login to your account. You must log in to the account that is associated with your company's license. This may be different than the user ID and password you use to access your own personal broker licenses. If you do not remember the user ID and password to access the company license, you can recover it on the right hand side of the screen. Your user ID, change the password, update your email address, or recover your registration code. If you know your login, you will enter it. And you will be taken to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you will see your licenses in the professional license details section. You will also see a renewal tile at the top showing you available renewals. If you click on the tile, you will see your renewal application is available and you can click on renew. You will not be able to make changes to the information in the section from the renewal application. If you need to change the location of your company, you must go back to your dashboard and click on the green pencil next to the company license number to enter a change of location or name application. You must answer all of the legal questions truthfully. If you answer yes to any of the legal questions, you will be given the opportunity to upload documentation related to your yes answer. You must acknowledge that you understand that you must report any disciplinary action or criminal activity. And then you will sign the application and click on continue. On this screen, you may review your application. If you need to make any changes to it, you will click on the edit button in each section, which will take you back to the application so that you can make changes to it if you so choose. If your application is correct, then you will click on continue It will take you to the review screen and you will click on add to cart. You must select the application that you wish to pay for. Please be aware that all fees are non-refundable. You must acknowledge that as well. Even if your company license is not renewed, you will still not be able to get a refund of your renewal fee. Both the company and the broker of record licenses must submit renewal applications or they will not be renewed. If you submit one and not the other, neither of those licenses will be renewed. If your company and broker of record licenses are not renewed, you will need to submit initial applications to obtain new licenses for both yourself and the company, including all required documents and additional fees. It is imperative that you renew both the company and the broker of record licenses at the same time. After that, your, any employees that are employed by your company will be able to renew their licenses as well. You will click on proceed to payment. And it will take you to a screen where you will enter your credit card information. Once you have made the payment, you will receive a confirmation page that looks like this. You may download a copy of the application for your records if you so choose. You will receive a payment receipt in your email that is registered to this account. 
You may also send a receipt to an additional email address if you would like to do so. If you click on Go to Dashboard, you will be returned to your main dashboard. You can then scroll down to your Activities section to see your facility renewal form, your company renewal has been submitted. If your broker of record, which is the broker multi-license, has not renewed yet, the status will say awaiting prerequisite renewal. This does not mean that we did not get your company renewal. This means that we did not get both renewals required. If you see the awaiting prerequisite renewal, that means that you still have to submit another renewal application in order to complete your process for this cycle.